السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Welcome you again in the series of how, كيف uh, First uh, talk was two weeks ago was about how to build a community Today we are talking about how to become optimistic and I deliver this in Arabic two days ago on Sunday when I was in Antakya uh, with in a training workshop for the Syrian NGO in Turkey. Today we start by uh, uh, condemning what has been happening yesterday in London and the merciless killing of the innocent people around the House of Commons and injured, injuring more than 20 people. So may God bless the souls of the dead as well as comfort the hearts and the souls of the families. Also remember not only the people of London who was being killed yesterday, but the people of Syria, the people of Yemen, the people of South Sudan, the people of uh, Iraq and Mosul, and the people of DRC and the others who are killed or tortured every day, and uh, nobody is noticing their torture or their killing. So we should condemn all these atrocities. Coming back to what we talk today, we are living in a very gloomy atmosphere. Misty, cloudy, dark, uh, confusing situation are facing all of us. But we have to find a way to become optimistic because we have no other way but become optimistic. So I put these points together when I was on an aeroplane going from Jeddah to uh, Istanbul and when I was in the, in, in, in the workshop uh, with the Syrian organization I heard one or two comments about optimism. We are depressed. There are seven or six years of conflict. So let us talk about how we become optimistic. First point is the foundation of the optimism is to become realistic. To become realistic and don't ever have or raise the expectation of people. Once you raise the expectation of people and you do not deliver, you bring them down. You need them to go into the depressive and gloomy situation. Be realistic of what resources you have, what ability you have, okay, then whenever you meet those people, do not ever raise their expectation. Can you put the second slide? See, be realistic and don't put high expectation. Put high expectation. Can you correct it, please? High expectation, put high in the middle. When you start something, okay? When you start something, put high expectations. Okay. And make a simple goals. Don't make any complicated goals. Goals with S. One simple goal and achieve it. Achievable, simple goal. Once you achieve it, go to another one. Move to another one, to a third one, to a fourth one. Okay? Always make yourself busy. Should make ourselves busy of what we do not what other people are doing. Don't become an armchair warrior or a judge, judgmental on other people. Always contain our anger. As I said earlier on, the world is not as it was before, controlled by too many conflicting views and opinions, and lies and hypocrisies. Here, the community worker, like any one of us, or the citizen, like any one of us, male or female, from south or north or east and west, has to learn how to contain their anger. If we don't contain our anger, we lose our rights and we lose our argument. Even if we are right, even if we are oppressed, even if we are actually claiming for our rights. 
Okay, be realistic, come back again. Be realistic of what you need to achieve. Don't make high expectation. Start with a very simple, achievable goal. Be busy but what you do, not what others are doing. And try to contain your anger all the time and control yourself. Coming back, having a simple goal, okay, is exactly like if we want to start an initiative or a project, we should have a simple, achievable initiative on a very small scale with people that we trust and we know that they can deliver with us. We might be living in a country like Syria torn into uh, the war issue to different zones, too many fighting groups, 7 million displaced people inside, 5 million outside as refugees, and some of us must say that we want to do everything. You can't. You can't. Once you think on this level, you will depress yourself. And you go from optimism to depression. What you need in a situation like that, to have a very simple initiative, small one, and make it grow like the snowball and keep revisiting it. If you want to feed the Syrian or the Yemeni, start by saying that I want to feed 50 people. It might cost me 100 pounds a month. Then I move after two or three months by feeding a thousand people. Then I move up when a lot of people will believe in what I am doing. Simple, achievable initiative. Don't let failure to depress you. It does matter how much you try and not achieve what we want. If it's a hundred times, a hundred times, 300 times and more. It doesn't make any difference. Keep trying. And don't stop trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying and don't stop trying. Till you succeed. Because at the end of the day, if you keep trying, definitely you will succeed. Once you succeed, you'll be able to excel and learn from the mistakes or the ways of our failure. And once you try something and you fail, write it. Write all the experiments. Write all the causes of failures and the causes of success. Don't stop try writing while you are trying. Don't stop writing while you are trying. The great leaders and the great scholars are no different to us. They have the same brain, the same eyes, the same heart, the same body. But they have the drive to try and the zealous to carry on till they made success and the achievement. Keep always dividing the time, the day, into many hours. What I say hour, like some parts of your life. For you personally, to develop yourself for your God to communicate and connect and worship Him, for the community to help, for uh, your family to support and sustain and develop and protect, okay? And for reflection on the surroundings of the creation of God, to look at the magnificence of the creation of God. Then, another time for the global surrounding of you. So don't sit, we should not sit down and bogging ourselves just in a dark room looking at a screen called a Facebook or a Twitter or whatever you call it. Or a computer this no should go out a time for sport go out and run play football play basketball 
So all these kind of things will consume your energy or our energy positively and will clear this mystic feeling that we are having because of the gloomy situation humanity is facing because of a lot of conflicts, armed conflicts, as well as such idiot and such idiotic leadership that we are suffering from leadership globally. Be cooperative to anybody in your community, your family, your colleagues, your friends, your neighbors, anybody and everybody, whether it's from your same background, from a different background, from your religion, from another religion, be cooperative. Don't stop helping people. Because helping people increase the depth of the positive energy that you are having and will be having. Smile from a child to you is a positive energy. A word of thank you from an old man or woman to yourself give you another positive energy. Such positive energy will give you more confidence to do more and more and more and give you more blessing from Allah, God who has created you and is very happy that you are helping every and each one you know or you don't know. Be cooperative to anybody. Always choose the good friends. Don't just so choose Somebody who is dandy doo who can waste your time as a male or a female, choose the, the friend who can support you, protect you, do not backbite you, do not make fool of you, okay, and respect you, and trust you. This is the friend that you need to look at, okay, not the one who makes jokes and laughs and fool everybody? No. The friend that actually, whenever you need him or her, she will be or he will be next to you, especially at the time of hardship, not at the time of peace. Choosing the friend is something which builds your positive energy, your confidence, and make you more optimistic. Always aim for the best. We talked here about be realistic, don't put high expectations, have a simple goals, but actually with these simple goals, with these simple initiatives, okay, always make for the best. In spite of the fact we said the start simple and realistic, but always try to become better, try to deliver better. And this is where you always look at the people who are ahead of you to try to be as good as they are, to become an achiever, to become a change maker, to become a community leader, to create the flow that led the people to follow your flow. Don't keep following the flow of people before you. Next, please. Always learn from people before us, from people before us. Look at great civilizations, whether in China, in India, in Latin America, in Africa, in Europe, in Egypt, North Africa, in Syria, in Jordan, in Iraq. Learn from the greatest achievement of scholars reformers, change makers, revolutionary leaders who build their countries, their society, their nations. Learn from them. Have the wisdom of learning how did they achieve it through patience, perseverance, and dedication. Be humble all the time. Be humble. Because God knows our hearts. People don't know it. Even if we act, to fool people. Be humble. Children, men and women will realize that this individual is humble and this individual is acting. Okay. 
Because they feel the message that comes from your heart to go through their hearts and minds. And they feel my message as a hypocrite and a liar that the message is coming from my tongue, not from my heart. So, be humble. Okay? God loving. I'm not talking about who is the God. The God of you. Loving your God. Loving your God means that you help your community. You help everybody. Not only you help your uh, believers from the same group. Don't step on the toes of others. Don't insult others. This is a certain characteristic in you. Because this brings negative energy to ourselves. Even if those people are not good to you. And treat people with goodness. With morality. Okay? Don't treat people as they treat you. Because if we treat people as they treat us, that means that we go down their way. But if we treat people as we want to treat them, through our moral value, through our good behavior, we raise their moral values and morality up. Negative criticism. People are always criticizing us negatively. Take it, swallow it, comprehend it, and change it to positive energy. Okay, fine. If I did something wrong, have I done anything good? And if you think that I am wrong, let me change myself. You are not advising me. Look at the people who are criticizing you negatively as people that are advising you to excel and don't come back at them and fight back with them. Say so that you and me and him are here. No. Somebody like Hazrat Umar said, May Allah bless such a man or a woman that has gifted me, has given me a gift of showing by what? By showing me my mistakes. By showing me my mistakes in life, that means that this will save me in the life to come. Rahimallahum written, Ahda ilayya ayubi. Okay, change negative criticism into positive energy. Always Try to become a role model to people around you. Who are the people around us? If you are a father, it's your wife, your children, your relatives. If you are a community leader, it is your community members. If you are a government, it is the citizens of the governorates. If you are a teacher, it is the students and the pupils. If you are a manager, it is the employees. If you are a minister, it is the ministry and everybody works there plus the public that you are serving. If you are a president or a king, it is the whole public, the whole country, the whole nation. Let them to look up at you as a role model. And let them to make you a role model. Because we cannot, we cannot become a role model because we want to become a role model. Role model in our behavior, okay. role model in our dedication to serve our community and our humanity. Role models where actually we prioritize others to ourselves. When people feel that we are the last to gain and the first to offer service and money and help and time, teach, learn, teach them, and learn from them. Always look, always be a role model to others. Plus, choose a role model for yourself. If you want to become a role model, you would like to be like such another role model. Whether your role model will be your prophet, such as Jesus, peace be upon him, Muhammad, peace be upon him, Moses, Abraham, others, could be disciples, could be companions of the prophets, could be reformers, could be community leaders, could be actors, could be actresses, 
could be singer, could be dancer, whatever it is. It's entirely up to you to find your own role model. What I'm saying, if I want to become a role model, like political leaders, such as Ali Aizabegovic, such as Mahatma Gandhi, such as Nelson Mandela, such as Malcolm X, such as uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, and others. These are role models for humanity. And if you want to become a role model like them, you have to follow their path, whether they are from your social, political, theological, philosophical, and faith background, or from others. Because each and every one of them, and others, have served and saved humanity. So you become a role model, and have a role model in your, uh, to, to follow, okay? Remember all the time that you have been under surveillance, surveillance, surveillance. Here in this room, we have got at least two angels with me. With my friend, become four angels. But the other angels are coming to listen to good work, to good recitation, to good uh, 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 discussion to save humanity. So we don't know how many of those angels in the room. But always remember that God is with us all the time. And is closer to us, more closer to us than ourselves. And understand the intention of our whispers. The angels might write what they see, as they have seen, but Allah knows the intention of what we do, and the ancient cannot, the angels cannot write. So we're all the time under surveillance, surveillance, whenever we go to the toilet, in our bedrooms, in a tunnel, on a sky, everywhere. We have to be seriously. Realizing that somebody with us want to help us and Allah is watching all these kind of uh, activities and He Himself wants to protect us. Always remember successes of others and successes of yourself and the achievement of yourself and the achievement of others. Don't always remember the failures of others and the failures of yourself. Because once we remember the failures, okay, we go to this dark tunnel, which can bring negative energy to us. And this is what the devil himself loved us to have, to surround us, to surround us by his negative energy. But when you look at a difficult achievement has been made by some simple people, this will encourage us to carry on, on and on, to be like them and to excel more than them and to have more achievement and more successful story. Coming back to the process of learning from anybody and everybody, whether it's a cleaner, professor, teacher, porter, nurse, doctor, anyone. Because if each of those people and more have wisdom, they have gained through their life experience. They can give it to you in two minutes or three minutes to guide you, to help you, to serve you, and to serve you. Don't undermine any advice from anybody who are not as educated as you are and as influential as you are. I said, shoot the role model for yourself. Don't waste your time. Oh, let us chill. Oh, let us relax. Oh, let us wake up at midday. Oh, let us sleep after two or three o'clock in the morning. Oh, let us have all oh, this nice food. Have some from here, some from here. Oh, let's have more drink, Coke, or whatever. Somebody have drink which is uh, like alcohol and other. Don't ever, 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 okay? Uh, waste your time in excess of leisure, food, 
drinking and all these sort of things. Make moderation. Make moderation. Okay? I mean, uh, make it actually uh, uh, simple and as you need. Even the Prophet said, divide your food into third of it for, for the water, third of it for the meal itself, and third of it for the air. That you can uh, uh, breathe. The top one is keep excelling. Excel for excellence. Al-Ihsan is excellence. Each one of us should excel, keep excelling. Keep excelling for excellence. Not just being put off by somebody. Or if somebody else excels, I would like to compare myself to him or her to excel as well. So all these kind of points, if you can come back to the first one, please. If you look at here, be realistic, simple goal and simple initiatives. Uh, be busy with what you do, contain your angers. Uh, don't let your trials, the failing trials of you to, to depress you. And look at time to uh, divide your time in the day, pick over to everybody, choose a good friend, aim for the best. Next one, please. And learn from everybody, people before you and people with you. Be humble, God-loving. Don't classify people. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I missed, I missed this one. Don't classify people. Oh, I see. He's from this group. See? He's from this group. He's from this group. Don't worry about where they came from. Worry about what they do for the community. Don't worry about their belief. Worry about what they do for the community. Don't classify people. And don't have clashes with people. Okay? Change negative criticism into positive energy. Be a role model. For others, have a role model in your, in your life. Learn from the patience of prophets. See, prophets were guided by God. But they still became very patient to achieve their goals. In spite of the fact that angels of God were behind them. And were there with them and were supporting them. Look what happened to Jesus, peace be upon him. Look what happened to Moses, peace be upon him. Look what happened to Zachariah, peace be upon him. And Yahya, peace be upon him. John and Muhammad, peace be upon him, and others, everybody. They're more guided by God, but they saw patience and perseverance. Uh, remember that you are always watched by others under surveillance. Remember success stories and achievement. Learn from everyone. Choose role model for yourself. Don't waste uh, your time in leisure things. And the top one is always excel for excellence. I thank you very much for being with you today. And uh, I hope that we can meet, inshallah, next week in another subject in Arabic and English, Thursday and Friday. Tomorrow, I'm not going to talk about it in Arabic because I've already delivered it last Sunday in Arabic when I was in Antakya. We can share it again. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. We can share it again, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day.